Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. I'm 51 years old. I've been a professional makeup artist and a licensed hairstylist for over 25 years. And I am here to kind of inspire you, I hope, and go through a sometimes challenging time learning how to do our makeup as our skin changes when we age. And I guess I'm here to build a community for myself as well. I work from home and it's so nice talking to you in the comments. So if you do feel like chatting, that's wonderful. I love hearing from you. Anyway, I just did a get ready with me using some mostly drugstore products and a little bit of Glow Skin Beauty. That's a mineral brand that I'm not sure if you've heard of before, but I really like it. I always ramble in these introductions. <laughs> I hope you stick around. Let me know if you like this video by hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get going. I'm gonna try to stick to drugstore products. Although I gave my e.l.f. eyeshadow to my daughter and that's my favorite drugstore eyeshadow. First of all, I'm gonna start off with some sunscreen. I don't know if you guys have Vichy where you are. We have Vichy in Canada and definitely in Europe there's Vichy, but in the US, do you have this product? It is so good. How do you say it? Ideal. Ideal, Ideal Soleil, it's a small little travel one. This is an SPF of 60 and I really like it. It's nice and light, it's perfect for under makeup. It smells like the beach, not strong, it just reminds me of the beach. I find whenever I use this under my makeup, it doesn't pill ever, so I really like it. And this one doesn't have any kind of extra shimmer to it. It's just moisturizing and it's not gonna accentuate my pores. If you're wondering what this bruise is, I did get cheek filler last week, I believe. If you've never had fillers before and you just have this area that's bothering you, typically a good injector will go from the top down. So this will start falling in when this starts caving in and losing volume. That wasn't my intention to talk about that in this video, but I wanna explain my bruises. And if you're ever interested in learning more about that, I know enough about it that I can share information. And I also have a nurse practitioner who is awesome and loves to share. I actually have a lot of videos of my skin treatments up on my channels. Maybe I should put them in the description box for you. I'm not sure if you guys would have seen this already, but I used in a short video, I believe, the Wet n Wild Photo Finish, Photo Focus Stick Foundation, and I used this for a bronzer, so I may go ahead and do that again today, and I will use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation as my normal color. Let's just go for it. Stop talking for crying out loud. I'm just gonna go. That's a lot. <laughs> it's quite warm, but that's okay because it's a bronzer. This is a concoction that I've never tried before. So if my makeup is messed up, it's not my fault. I just want to play. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer that I'm using. I'm just going to go in there for now. A little bit there, down my nose. Right there, right there. Maybe just a little bit right there. <laughs> I'm hoping that when you watch my videos, we might get a good laugh and it might put you at ease when you're doing your own makeup and inspire you to try new things. Either that or I'm gonna scare you to death. I'm not sure which one. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit there. And I think I'm gonna take this brush here and use my L'Oreal True Match Serum Foundation. I could use the Wet n Wild too, that would be really pretty. I'm just gonna dip the tip in. <laughs> Sounds very rude. And place that all over. And blend it. It looks like a lot of foundation. I'm really just spreading it to a thin layer. I have a lot of product still on my hand. You see how that just blended it all in, but I still have that shape to my face. Have you heard of Glow Skin Beauty? This is a mineral line. They actually sell it on Amazon, but it is sold by estheticians and medical offices because it is all mineral and very safe for your skin. So if you have a, a chemical peel, for an example, or dermabrasion, or that's kind of an old service, or microneedling, Mineral makeup is the best thing to put on your face afterwards if you have to use makeup within the next 48 hours. Usually don't put any makeup on, but the day after if you have to go somewhere, you can use the mineral makeup and it's safe. I am gonna use this for my concealer though. So it's not drugstore, but I own it and I love it. This is the oil-free concealer and I love it for underneath the eye. It's still nice and creamy, but it's not so creamy that it moves around and creases a lot. I still have to powder it, 
The regular creamy concealer isn't a small one, but I like the oil-free. I've given it to a few girlfriends and they really like it too. And they're my age. Actually, one's a little bit older. The color is perfect. It counteracts all my darkness under my eye and it looks so nice and smooth. You see? I don't think I'm gonna worry about that bruise too much because by the time I get my makeup done, nobody's gonna see it anyways. I feel like if you're going to correct something like that, you really gotta be careful. Sometimes when you're trying to cover something up, it actually brings more attention to it because it looks makeup-y. And if I hadn't pointed that out, I'm not sure that you guys would have noticed anyways. It sure doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I should bring it down onto my chest. I never know what I'm gonna wear, so I often won't put makeup on my body because I'm afraid I'm gonna get it on my clothes. It's the freckles and the sun damage. I had a laser treatment done here, and it was mixed in with a radio frequency device, so she couldn't go really strong. So we talked about it the last time, and I'm gonna go for a PicoSure laser treatment just on its own so that she can use the power that she needs to to actually get rid of the sun damage. You know, I forget how much I love this L'Oreal True Match Serum. It's so pretty, you guys. Dang, I meant to use this. This is the L'Oreal 24-hour Pore Minimizer. Darn it. But you know what? I don't find my pores looking that bad. I should powder my face. I have three favorite loose powders. The first one is House Labs. The second one is the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. That's this one. I love it. And then the, did I say the third or the second? That was the second. And then the third one is the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I love it. Maybe I should use this one today. I will. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I wanna show you guys a variety. So I'm just going to put that right there and make sure there's no creases. And make sure that any fallout that happens from my eyeshadow application isn't gonna stick. That's why I'm doing it now. This is a mess because I've used it a lot. This, this is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I love her eyeshadows. I used this a lot when I first got it, but then I try so many new things that I forget that it's there. And I was sitting there last night thinking, I just have to use what I have. I don't want this channel to be all about what you need next. Yes, I wanna show you the new stuff, but I also wanna show you what's available to you now. There actually haven't been a lot of eyeshadow palettes coming out, so. Let me show you this one. This has a lot of different colors, but I am going out <laughs> in the daylight, so I'm gonna keep it pretty subtle, I think. First, let me even out my skin tone with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. You can see how violet my lids are. And then as soon as I put this on over top, it clears it right up. But I did try the same thing on my sister-in-law. Her and I have completely different skin tones and it didn't look as good on her as it does on mine. She didn't have violet undertones though on her eye. I ended up using a different product on her altogether to start her eyeshadow look and it looked really pretty. So again, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, but if you have violet veins popping through, the yellow and the soft ochre is gonna counteract the yellow or the red veins, purple veins. I don't wanna go too warm today, so I think I'm gonna start off with this color right here. And this is called Nurture. And I always start my brush where I want it the darkest. So I don't want it dark in here. I want it dark and fading into light. So I start it where I want it dark. I'm gonna run it in circular motions. And then drag. And when I look forward, I can see that I'm not really seeing that. My eyes are dropping. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna take it even higher. So you wanna see when you're looking straight ahead, you wanna be able to see that shadow. So there we go. So I've created a higher crease and more shape. Same thing on the other eye. Now, if you're anything like me, you may not notice, but one eye is higher than the other. So again, making sure that you're looking straight ahead in the mirror and that you can see what's going on. This eye is actually easier because my eyebrows lifted up higher. And in the end, I can kind of flick it up because I want everything going this way. So if you see that I just take my brush and there's really nothing left on it, but I wanna make sure that it's going in an angle this way. It's 
probably not even doing that much, but it makes me feel better. I said I wanna use cool colors, didn't I? I'm gonna go into this one. Is that sparkle on there? That shouldn't be there. Yes, yes it is. So that, that's what this looks like. No, I don't want that going to Costco. You know what? I'm gonna go in with the same color, but I'm gonna show you how to make it deeper just with that one color. So I'm gonna load it on. You see that's the same color, same brush even. But I'm gonna place it where I want it to go, right in the corner. In the crease, I started here with a darker color, but then I dragged it over a larger area. Here, I'm just gonna keep it right in the corner. I'm losing my shirt. You can do so much with one color. It depends on the blending. It depends on the stiffness of the brush. It depends on the length of the bristles. So the longer the bristles, the more flexible it will be. Yeah, I like that. That's just one color. I sure don't need a whole palette for this kind of look. I'll try to make it more interesting for you guys. But this is reality, right? I mean, what are we doing? It's daytime, I wanna look good, I wanna feel good. I don't really want people staring at me wondering where I'm going all dressed up, although I'm not afraid to look that way. We could pretend that I'm going to a wedding. Okay, I need something on my lips here. As I've aged, this is a struggle for me right here. You see how there's a little bit of a hole, but that's because I'm hooded right there. This is becoming heavier. So I have to pay attention to that. I mean, really, again, is anyone gonna notice? I don't think so but I'm gonna stretch my eye up and make sure that enough color got deposited in that little hollow there so that it doesn't look patchy. I often forget though, when I'm in a hurry, I forget. Who's judging though? But that looks better. I hope you can see that I filled that hole. And let me double check this side too. This side's not as bad. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is a BK Beauty 212. There's nothing on it and I'm gonna go along the edges. I'm gonna make sure that's nicely blended and the edges are soft. I can do the same thing here too. I am gonna go over this area with color anyways. Now, I'm never afraid of shimmer. I don't care where I'm going. So I'm definitely gonna add a shimmer. My eye is going to this one because it's the most natural. That one is called Spontaneous. The colors are so pretty though. Like this actually turns into a green. I wish you could see it. Does it shift for you? Oh, can you see that it's green? Then it's purple, green, purple. It's really, really pretty. I've worn it before. I have a video up with that look. It's so pretty. I need to tape these down. This is called Thrill. This has more of a pinky tone to it. Let me show you that one. So that one is called Thrill, and then this is the one I was going for to begin with, which is more of a champagne, and that one is Spontaneous. And then I've got Serenity up here, which I definitely don't want right now. This, I've worn though, it looks so pretty. It almost gives like a, a wet, moist look, and I've, oh, oh, I can put that there actually. I get really excited. <laughs> this is why I've been ordering groceries online, because I get so excited doing makeup, and I sit here for hours. Not necessarily a good thing, but it's like my art therapy. I'm gonna use a nice stiff brush. Oh, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is a safer one, Spontaneous. Maybe I'll go into the inner corner with Spontaneous. And just stretch my eye up a little bit. Guys, I know I have wrinkles on my lids, but I will be wearing sparkle and shimmer. I'm gonna do it forever. I always said if I need a walker one day, I'm gonna bedazzle the heck out of that thing. I'm not dimming my light for anybody. I don't believe that there's rules. I don't believe that there's age limits. I think if it makes you happy, wear it. There. I'm gonna turn my brush around and go into Thrill. That's the more pinky shade. It's a little bit chunkier than this one. Do you see the difference? And they blend so nicely together. Mm-hmm. 
Who needs diamonds when you've got sparkly eyeshadow? It's a lot cheaper. I don't have any fallout. Uh, maybe I do, just a little bit right there. There. So this is like a pencil brush or a smudge brush. This one is a BK Beauty 204. And I'm gonna go into that original color. So I've only used three colors right now. This one, this one, and this one. Nope. This one, this one, and this one. Yes, that one. So I just wanna create that shadow under here. Eyeshadow is the easiest way to do your eyeliner. It always gives you a soft, smoky look. Nothing too harsh. That's what I would say I feel is a little bit of an age thing. It's not that I don't see a, a dark liner on some women who are older and think, rock it, you look like you're rocking it. But in most cases, I like more of a softer look. That's just my taste. And again, I have this hollow right here, so I'm not sure if you can see that there's a little bit of color missing right there. So I wanna make sure that I fill that space. And everything that I'm doing is again like this. I can clean that up with my concealer as well. I'm gonna use my setting powder and dust it right under here to make sure that there's no stop and start when it comes to makeup. I don't wanna see that this is bare skin with nothing on it. Even though I have soft ochre there, I just wanna finish it off with something. So if it's powder here, I want powder here. It just makes it seamless. Let me powder this down as well. Get rid of my pores there. I have a dry skin, but my pores are getting more and more visible as I get older. So it's really important for me to powder this T-zone area. I never used to have to do that. All the things that have changed. I've heard so many people say no powder for mature skin, but it just depends. I have a dry skin and I have larger pores. If that's shiny, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna use LA Girl. No, Ash Brown. I wanna use Ash Brown. I liked it yesterday. I used it and it was a little bit of a cooler tone. I always buy soft brown and because I have that leftover microblading, it's kind of pink and then I look really red there. And I'm really noticing on camera when I go to edit that it's looking pretty red. So I'm gonna stick with the taupe. And I feel better with that. It still matches me really nice. I can definitely get away with both and it really depends on my mood. I've been so tempted to get that removed, but I think it would hurt. As much as I don't like the tone of it, gives me the shape that I need. So I just deal with it. I have so many comments saying, why are your eyebrows pink? I wish I had never gotten it done, to be honest. I think I'm scarred for life because it really hurt me. I don't think a good enough numbing cream was used. Maybe if I were to get it done again and I was promised a really good numbing cream, that it would be okay. That is bothering me. What I need is a color corrector. It really should be more of a peach tone. This is Bisque by Bobbi Brown. Did that make it worse? I don't know why it's bothering me so much now. I was trying to do all drugstore, but I think I gave my butter bronzer to my daughter. When she comes from New York, I kind of go here, here, take this. But since I've already talked about the Glow Skin Beauty, the mineral line that I used, I'm gonna use their bronzers. It has two colors. I just mix my brush into the entire thing. I'm gonna tap it on because I don't wanna disturb this too much. I used to have a salon in my house. It's actually my husband's office right now. When I decided to carry a makeup brand, I really wanted to be able to send everyone home with it. So my sister-in-law has really bad allergies, so she has a hard time wearing any makeup. And I tested this out on her. I sent her home with some products and it didn't bother her skin at all. So I knew at that point that this mineral makeup that they claimed was good for sensitive skin really was good for sensitive skin because boy, she gets raw. She will immediately get itchy and burning and this makeup was fine for her. I can hear my earrings. I'm multicolored here, so I'm gonna take some of my bronzer down onto my chest, make sure it all connects. Yeah, I think that blends better. By doing that, it makes my head actually look like it's connected to my body. <laughs> that makes sense. I actually, I saw this girl one time, I lived in the States and I, I don't know where I was shopping and the girl that was serving me, she had this beautiful tan on her body and then her foundation was two shades too light or three shades too light. And I leaned over and I said, I'm so sorry. I, I hope I'm not upsetting you, but 
I just want to tell you that your foundation is too light. You've got this beautiful color, and if you just knock it up a little bit for your summer shade, it would look so much better. And it's always a risk when you do that. And I was just, I was so nervous she was going to be upset, but she said, thank you. She said, I wish somebody had told me that before because she was just at her son's graduation and all of her pictures came back just looking so odd and she couldn't figure out what it was. I did get a new blush to try. This is Milani. This is Blossom Time Rose. I don't know what the name of it is. Is that the name or Rose Powder Blush? I think it's Blossom Time Rose and I haven't opened it yet. I want to use my teeth and I can hear my mother say, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. I don't even want to disturb this rose. Nice fluffy brush. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Pretty. Yep. I knew it. Does it have a little bit of a shimmer? It almost looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I like because I don't look dry. Sometimes when I use a matte blush, like if it's a true matte, I feel like I need to add some life to it. This has some life to it. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. Yeah, actually it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. I can see it now. A glow, not a shimmer. Shimmer seems to be my favorite word <laughs> and it's not a shimmer. It's just got a beautiful radiance to it. It's not enhancing my texture at all, which is so important to me. I feel a bit organized today. Yesterday I filmed or two days ago I filmed and I was all over the place, but I haven't tried putting on my mascara yet, so I better not speak too soon. I don't have a drugstore setting spray, so I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry guys, I'll work on that for sure. Concealer is good. I'm so dry and I'm getting all these dry patches. Yeah, I even have a dry patch right here. I have one here and I have one here and I have one up here. What the heck? I got off track again. So curl my lashes. I'm gonna use the Anti-Gravity Milani Mascara. I tried this for the first time the other day and I really liked it. My daughter says this is extremely hard to get her hands on at our local drugstore. So I ended up buying her one too. I'm not sure if it's easily accessible on, um, on Amazon or not. When a product's good, everybody finds out about it and then it gets sold out. Oh, and when I took this off last night, it was really easy to come off. I used some Missler water, some Garnier Missler water, and it came off no problem. I didn't have to rub and scrub. I had a comment yesterday or today, I can't remember, mentioning that she uses brown mascara, Sicily's brown mascara, and I've never spent that much money on a mascara, but because she said it was good, I'm so tempted. What's your opinion on expensive mascara? Leave it in the comments below. I have tried brown mascara before, but I feel like my coloring is more of a cool tone color. I'm a neutral, but more of a cool tone just because of the color of my eyes. But if I could find the right brown, it would be really cool to play with that look. So she swears by it. Now I've got to try it. I might save up for it a little bit though. My cheeks are still swollen from my cheek filler. It takes a couple weeks for it to really work into your skin. And even though she doesn't use that much, there's still a little bit of swelling but I find that it pushes my skin up a little bit more in the eye area. So I'm noticing this line here is much more prevalent. It doesn't bother me. I mean, it was there to begin with. I think I'm just noticing it more now, or it's just me, I don't know. These 10 times mirrors though, they're a gift and a curse all at once. I always say that I think we start losing our sight when we get older as a gift so we don't see all the wrinkles that are happening. And then we get the 10 times mirror we can see everything. I feel like my foundation's going well too because I just shaved my face last night. My foundation always looks so much better when I shave my face. Don't be afraid to do that. It's called dermaplaning and whenever you dermaplane or shave your face, your skincare goes into your skin better, your foundation sits on your skin nicer, everything just looks so much nicer and it doesn't grow back thick and dark. So don't worry. I've been shaving my face for years. I know I have drugstore lipstick. I really like L'Oreal, but I'm loving this one too. Hmm, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and the other one is one of my favorites, so it's in my purse. This is a Maybelline lip liner. It's called Color Sensational. I hope it's still available. And this is in Gone Grage. I don't even have the wrapper off of it. It feels like such a gray day today. Oh, and I'm using Grage Lip Liner. Huh, perfect. Let me clear this off a little bit. 
This is like a contour color for my lips. And I mush it together so there's not an actual line. Okay, this color I think is called Petal. No, it's called Reef. That's pretty. I hope they have this one available. This is a NYX nude pencil and I'm going to just line my inner rim and show you what that looks like. Again, not a new technique. I'm sure you've seen it before, but if you're ever feeling like you look tired, this is a great thing to do. It just opens up your eyes, makes them nice and bright. Oh, I got... <laughs> It never fails. Wouldn't be like me not to have a mistake in my video. It was too easy. I also should mention that this pump is not what comes with the bottle. I ordered this on Amazon. The applicator is awful. It's really, really messy. It's in a dropper. I have this linked in my Amazon shop and it fits perfectly and it reduces the mess. Don't know why they make it like that. A lot of serum foundations have that dropper and it just doesn't make any sense. I am all done. Let me take this out. Will you let me know what kind of videos you want to see? Do you like these kind of get ready with me videos where I'm giving you tips and tricks? Or do you like more of a review type of style where you see new products? I appreciate all of your opinions and your comments. It helps me out so much. I just appreciate you being here with me. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and share, share with all your friends. I, I really wanna grow this channel and it helps me out so much if you do that for me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for being here, bye.